there's nothing worse than someone who can't admit when they've done wrong. To most people in Tredega and South Wales, Andrew Llewellyn was known as a family man and a community man. He was polite, courteous and seemed to be a man of principles. He spent his evenings coaching sports teams. However, Andrew led a secret life, one which afforded him the title of crime boss. That was a cog in an international crime organisation with the Turks. The ambitious dealer is said to have supplied cut crack between January and December 2020. In the span of 11 months, Andrew is said to have made at least £350,000 profit. With this fortune, the Welsh man gained a reputation amongst other dealers in South Wales and the general consensus was do not mess with him. The 36-year-old formed a small gang and commanded low-level dealers under him to complete street deals on his behalf. Newport Crown Court heard that Andrew had formed connections with notorious suppliers in London. They in turn had very good connections to Turkish gangs based in Turkey that sourced kilos of high-purity Class A gear at a time. Andrew would then take command of the gear, using Balkan agents to multiply kilos and his presser and then he would give it to the street dealers on consignment. When the unnamed runner could not sell the product in what was deemed a timely manner, the runner was berated and also promised with having bones broke. The Class A gear was mainly sold in areas like Swansea, Gwent and Caerphilly. Now police recovered messages from Andrew to his workers. The messages read, you better get me my effing money in tonight, you're making my blood boil. Police also says that they had video recordings of Andrew with the presser. When Andrew Llewellyn was arrested, he folded under pressure and it was a telltale sign that he was not cut out for prison time. He directed his solicitor to tell the judge, Andrew was scared for the future as a community man who prides himself on helping other people and helps coach sports teams. It was also says that he was the rock that held his family together and does not plan to stand in front of a judge ever again. Now despite the crime boss having profited to the tune of over £350,000 and was caught with incriminating messages that showed the international network he was part of, he constantly blamed his dealer associates and the Turkish gang in an attempt to minimise his own greed and the reason why he was supplying Class A gear. Now Andrew Llewellyn was jailed for 7 years. Does the crime match the sentence? Let me know. Stay safe. Safe.